How you doing? Welcome back. My name is Rick and this is Winders Ranger. I recently lost my credit card at uh, Disney. Didn't really lose it. I, I left it behind. I knew where I had left it. Um, but this, I wanted to talk about uh, my experience with Disney's Lost and Found and how long it took me to get my credit card back. Uh, all in all, it wasn't a bad experience. Uh, I did get it back. It wasn't like I dropped it someplace in a theme park. Um, walking and I wasn't real sure where I left it. Uh, in this case I was at a restaurant. I had paid for dinner. The waiter brought back the card. It was in the booklet in the you know the fold out thing where your receipt comes in. Credit card, you know, I, I signed for everything. I don't remember if I left it in that book or if I left it on the table, but it was where I had, you know where I was sitting at at the restaurant. It was several hours later, um uh, the park was close to closing by the time I realized that I had left it. Uh, I think the park that day closed at like 9 o'clock or something. And it was probably 7.30, maybe going on 8, a little after 8 o'clock by the time I realized that I had left my credit card at the restaurant. So I immediately uh, filed a claim, which I'll show you the, uh, the website uh, here in a minute. But I filed a claim through Disney's Lost and Found. They asked for some basic information. And I ended up, I called... I think I called the uh, guest relations in Epcot, where the where the restaurant was, and they put me in touch with the uh, the restaurant itself. There actually was still staff there. By this time, it was after closing. Uh, the park was uh, probably 20 minutes closed. By the time I got around to actually calling guest relations, I um, I actually spoke to somebody in the restaurant or the person that I that I was speaking to at guest relations called. The restaurant i don't remember if i spoke directly to them but contact was actually made with somebody in the restaurant they said yeah we did find a credit card they didn't speci specify what kind or exactly where it was but they did find one and it had been turned over to lost and found um, so the process went from there uh, guest relations said well if you don't hear back from us by midday the following day to call us back and and see if we can get your card returned to you well, as you would figure, I didn't hear from them. Uh, so I called back. It was probably lunchtime, maybe a little bit before the following day. I called guest relations. They said, well, yeah, a credit card was brought up to us, and it was sent to Lost and Found in Disney Springs. And it'll take a day or two, a few days, for the Lost and Found process to inventory it, document that they have it, and then push a notification out to me via email or cell phone that the item had been found come and claim it. So another day or two goes by and uh, I don't hear anything. Called guest relations back. They said, well, it's at Disney Springs now. You need to communicate with them. Long story short, they had actually sent me an email. Uh, I did hear from them, but for some reason in my email, uh, I get most of Disney's notifications when they email me. This particular one, I didn't. It went to my uh, junk folder and um, when I, I went through and I actually found that I did actually have the email, they said come and claim it. It was at, uh, let me see, I, it's been a little while now, but it, I don't remember if it went, if the email said to come to Disney Springs and claim it, or if the person on the phone that I spoke to said, no, we've got it at Guest Relations, come here and get it. Either way, I, um, I called both places and I got different answers as to where my credit card had gone. The email specified, I believe it was the email specified it was in Disney Springs, come here and get it. Guest relations, I'm talking to a human being, which you would think is more reliable, said, nope, we've got it here, come to the park. The uh, In my case, I've, I have an annual pass. Going to the park's not a big deal. You know, I, I've already got a pass to get in the park. If you don't have a pass, uh, the question is, will they let you into the park to go to guest relations? Would they escort you there? Or do you have to have a park pass to get in? I'm not real sure on that one. Um, in, in any case, I had to make a uh, an educated guess as to whether or not to try my luck going to the park and waste the time going through parking, getting through the front gate, going to guest relations. You know, that's probably half an hour worth of time just getting into the park to do that. Or just go over to Disney Springs and see if it's there. If it's not, then backtrack. So I decided, let's go to Disney Springs, take the chance. Maybe it's actually there and you know we'll, we'll hopefully pick it up if not then i guess we'll go to epcot so drove to disney springs parked in the parking garage 
and I'll show show you on their website on the map where each one of the lost and found locations are in each one of the parks and Disney Springs. I think it's actually moved according to the map, but uh, their guest relations lost and found pickup was out closer to the front of Disney Springs, closer to the parking garage. I went there. It actually had gone to Disney Springs, so there was some miscommunication somewhere between Epcot and Disney Springs, and they're lost and found. But I was able to claim it. You know, I said, hey, this is my claim number from the third-party website uh, for my uh, credit card that I lost. This is where I lost it. Uh, she went in the back, took her a couple of minutes, brought it right up, signed for it. Yep, this is me. I uh, had to show a photo ID that they verify, yep, you are who you are. And, of course, in this case, my name's on the credit card, so it's not, you know, there's really no discrepancy there. And I was able to pick it up. All in all, it wasn't a bad experience. So let me uh, do a screen recording. I'll show you the, uh, the, the Lost and Found website. It's pretty easy. If it's, it's probably easiest to just go into Google or go into whatever search engine, engine and search Disney Lost and Found. It'll bring up the third-party website. Once you access the Disney Lost and Found, you'll find a third-party link that'll direct you away from the Disney site to the third-party website that deals with the lost and found. So you'll click on the continue button in the bottom right hand corner and that'll bring you to Chargerback which is a third party application that deals with the lost and found. You'll find a drop down menu which you can select the different types of locations where you've left your item or where you think your item was left and you just scroll through. It's got all the different parks, the resorts. This one is the uh, Polynesian Vi Village Resort in my case, I lost my, my item in Epcot, but you'll select on that. That'll bring you to another drop-down menu that uh, you can select various types of things that uh, you may have lost. In my case, it was a credit card. We'll scroll back up to that here so shortly. You can see there's a lot of different items here that you can choose from. And there's the credit card portion. So you click on that and um, it brings down another sub menu. You can scroll through there. There's credit card. You click on that. It'll bring you to the type of brand of card that it was. If you don't have your brand there, you can select other and then plug in whatever the name of that particular credit card was. Then save your item detail. You can select the date that you lost your item. And then you can select where at that particular location you lost it, whether it was in the lobby, bus stop. There's a lot of different selections there. Now you scroll down to your contact information. This is how you want Disney to get back to you and where you are located. So if you're not on site any longer and you go home, you can put in your home information. You select these two boxes here that uh, you agree to their terms and conditions and so on. I'm going to cancel this out since uh, I don't want to actually create a lost and found ticket. Now on the same page back on the Disney site, you can scroll down and this will show you a map of each one of the lost and found locations inside the, the various parks and uh, resorts and hotels. We won't go over the resorts and hotels, but this one's Epcot. Uh, this is liable to change with all the new updates, but uh, you come through underneath the uh, Spaceship Earth and it's located there in Guest Relations. Hollywood Studios, as you enter in through the turnstiles, the, the touch points, it's going to be the first building on your left inside the gates. Animal Kingdom. As you're coming up, you go through the touch points. It's going to be on your left-hand side as you're coming towards the uh, entrance of the park. Typhoon Lagoon, same thing. It's going to be right near the entrance as you're leaving the parking lot coming into the, the water park itself. Blizzard Beach, it's going to be similar. It's going to also be on your left-hand side entering the park. We'll zoom in a little bit so you can get a better idea. There's the touch points there. So the little shack on the left-hand side as you're coming in. It's on the right-hand side leaving. I've never been to the wide world of sports, but uh, this shows the location here. Again, it shouldn't be very difficult to find. And then you've got your various resort hotels. Disney Springs and whatnot. 
Each one of these is going to be a little bit different. We won't go through each one of the resort hotels. Disney Springs was where I had to pick up my credit card. And you can see here's the location where their Lost and Found is located now. Okay, so this is Disney Springs. This is the parking garage location here. This is where I parked at to uh, get to the Lost and Found. And I had walked along the front to this little building here where uh, their Lost and Found had previously been located. It's since moved to a new location, which is a little bit further inside of Disney Springs, which is now this location here. Still not far, that far of a walk from the parking garage, but it, it has moved from where it was originally, where it was uh, back around Christmas time of this year. This is the Archimedes water screw here, kind of give you a, a, a waypoint to how to find it. So that's the uh, Lost and Found locations and my experience with Disney's Lost and Found. Uh, if you ever find, if you ever lose any items, you know, just, uh, just go to their website and access the Lost and Found and just follow the prompts. And that'll get you through the, uh, their website. So I thank you for watching. And uh, we'll see you all on the next video. Mm -hmm.